am i visible and am i audible good morning everyone good morning ashutosh good morning sneha mehul ridhima shubham shruti prerit rakesh rudra pratap so how is everyone hello rakesh sir how are you well <clears throat> so in the last session we discussed some shortcut techniques finding square roots and cube roots etc so in this session we're doing some great things hello gurjeet how are you hello pranay i hope everyone is doing fine hello aman hello pranay <clears throat> so this is a session 2 of shortcuts <clears throat> session is called the basics of mathematics and here we'll be discussing some great shortcuts which will be helpful in cat and other management entrance exams thanks sir <clears throat> so let's start with the let's let's begin everyone is ready perfect so here is the <clears throat> first technique multiplication of linear expressions multiplication of linear expressions first of all let us understand what linear expressions are hello virendra any any linear algebraic expression would be of the form ax plus b i hope everyone understands that ax plus b here a is the coefficient of x a is the coefficient of x and b is the constant term for example 2x plus 3 in 2x plus 3 2 is the coefficient of x and 3 is the constant term so this is the general form of any any linear expression in in one variable <clears throat> perfect hello hello navin so i hope everyone understands this uh, expression the general form of the expression <clears throat> well so now we'll consider an example where we need to multiply two linear expressions everyone everyone has been doing that since childhood but today we'll be learning something which would be beyond our childhoods and uh, it would actually be helpful in your lives in general so let us try to multiply x plus 2 and x plus 3 x plus 2 and x plus 3 that is that is actually very easy but i need the answers please tell me everyone try to multiply tell me in the comment section what do you get x 
x square plus 5x plus 6. Yeah, that was, re that was really easy. <clears throat> Perfect. See, uh, I will talk about the shortcut, how to do that. V1 is variable one, C1 is constant one. So x plus 2 and x plus 3 was the example. x plus 2 and x plus 3. So here we can see that x is the variable 1, right? And 2 is the constant 1. Here the x is variable 2 and 3 is the constant 2. So in order to multiply them quickly in our minds without using pen and papers, what we have to do, we have to make selections. Now, first of all, you need to understand that what is logical multiplication and what is logical addition. In mathematics, if I say and, see, I have used and over here. And means multiplication or means addition. So, there are three ways to do that. We have one variable each in the two brackets. We have one constant each in the two brackets. So we will select, first of all, we'll select two variables and zero constants. That means we will select x and x, which comes out to be x squared and zero constants. We don't need to select any of the constants, neither one, neither two, nor three. Then comes or. Or means addition. Now we will select one variable and one constant. So if I select one variable from here, I need to select one constant from the second bracket. I hope that is clear. If I select one variable from the bracket number one, I'll have to select one constant from the bracket number two. Hello, Satendra. Which means, which means I'll get three X. But there are two ways of doing that. I can select the first constant from the first bracket and the variable from the second bracket, which makes it 2x. One variable and one constant. Then comes again or zero variables. We don't select any variable, no x's. And then two constants. The so two constants are two and three. I need to multiply them. That becomes six. I hope this one is clear to everyone. x squared plus 5x plus 6. The intermediate step, this one, we can directly add and then write in our uh, notebooks. That's clear. That was easy. OK. Now, what if I give you another example where I'm using three linear expressions, x plus 2, x plus 3, and x plus 4. In this case, uh, tell me how many of you, how many of you would try to multiply x plus 2 and x plus 3 first of all, and you will get something, a quadratic expression, a second order expression. And then with that expression, you will try to multiply x plus 4. How many of you have been doing it like this? I think it's almost everyone. Okay, Gurjeet. Hi, Abhi. Um, Rakesh sir also does the same. Ashutosh, Sneha, Prerit, how do you do it? Tell me, how would you, how would you calculate this? <clears throat> same way. You'll multiply x plus 2, x plus 3. That will be x square plus 5, x plus 6. And they'll multiply by x plus 4. So uh, what do you think? How much time, how much time would you take to do that? In number of seconds or minutes? Tell me, everyone. That will be lengthy, of course. 20 seconds for Gurjeet. Sneha. Hello, Anjali Kumari.
Well, the Ashutosh, you got the idea. Ashutosh got Ashutosh got the inspiration from the uh, last shortcut, and there he goes. See, the number of variables and the number of constants have to be kept in mind, and there is this law of balance. You understand law of balance? The law of balance means <clears throat> at every element that I that I calculate after multiplication, the order of the element has to be same. That means it can be either three variables and no constants or two variables and one constant or one variable and two constants or no variables at all and all the constants. So our journey starts from all of one thing and nothing of one thing and it ends at nothing of the first thing and everything of the second thing. I hope that is clear. For creating impact, I call it law of balance. It's like uh, when I was uh, when I was a kid, and you know, <clears throat> at times I did not listen to my parents, and I did my own thing, and I laughed. So my mom said, "If you will uh, laugh a lot, <laughs> you will be crying a lot in future, because because there's law of balance. If you do something a lot, then there will always be a you know, an, a force which will balance it out." darkness and light white and black red and the violet spectrum so men and women so that is how that is how law of balance always acts in the universe and this is what we have to keep in mind while multiplying linear expressions yes sir that's that's what hello hello jayant so i hope whatever i said right now might have sounded some uh, you know philosophical but i hope everyone understands that Hello, Deepika. If everyone understands it, just give me a thumbs up. My my abstract philosophy. Yeah. Great, great. Hello, Preeti. I hope you're doing fine. So those who are joined right now, Jayant, Deepika, and Preeti. Uh, I'm 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 explaining it. I'm repeating this this thing. Please pay attention. Are you there? Preeti, Deepika, and Jayant? See, so we have got three linear expressions, x plus 2, x plus 3, and x plus 4. What we have to do, as Ashu suggested, that I will choose, first of all, I'll choose all the variables and no constants at all. So all the variables, variables are x each, all the variables would multiply themselves and become x cubed. Is that fine? Is that fine? Yeah. So the first thing was three variables and zero constants. Now I'll choose two variables and one constant. Just have to keep in mind, if I'm choosing the two variables from the last two brackets, that is x square, then at the very same time, I'll choose the constant from the first bracket. Is that clear? If the variables are chosen from the last two brackets, the constant would be chosen from the first bracket. I hope that's clear. So what do we get here? We get 2x square. We can do it no more number of ways. Now, now I will choose, I'll choose the variables from the first and third bracket and constant from the second bracket that makes it 3x square similarly i'll choose the variables from the first two brackets and constant from the third bracket which make it 4x square this is how we'll do it slowly and steadily but once we have practiced that, we can do it within seconds in our minds. It, it, it is very simple. Three variables, three variables, they become x cubed, two variables, and one constant. So variables are variables are same everywhere. We don't have to keep in mind. You know, we can actually allot our memory only to the constants in the second case. So choosing two variables and one constant, that means we have to sim simply add two, three, and four. That makes 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 9. So that becomes 9x square. 
okay now coming to the third step the third step we have to choose only one variable and two constants one variable and two constants so let us say that i chose the constants from the first two brackets i'll choose the variable from the third bracket now this will make this will make tell me everyone what would the answer be in this case i chose the constants from the first two first two brackets and the variable from the third bracket what would i get Uh, Gurjit ask, uh, asking about the very very first calculation. Constants from the first two bracket, variable from the third bracket. Six x, perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm just asking because I was just trying to see if everyone got it or not. So six x is what I get. Now I can choose the constants from the first and third bracket. First and third bracket, and the variable from the second bracket. That makes it eight x. Perfect, Gurjit. And then I can choose the constant from the last two brackets and variable from the first bracket that makes it 12x. Yeah, Preeti. Perfect. Now, if I add 6 plus 8 plus 12, as Gurjit already said, that becomes 26x. That will be perfectly fine. Now we are at the end step of our goal and that is choosing no variables at all and all the constants. So the constants are 2, 3 and 4. 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 will be 24. Hello Siddhant, you are a bit late. Just look at the slide, you will be able to understand. So the final answer is Ashu, Sneha, Prerit, Preeti, Deepika, Everyone, please tell me the final answer. I have bad throat. <clears throat> yeah. Ashu, Sneha, Shubham, Prerit, Mehul, Anjali, Rudra, Shubham, Pranay. Please tell me your answers. X cube plus 9x square plus 26x plus 24. That's perfectly fine. Hello, Vinita. Hello, Aditya. Those who have come late, please look at this slide. Just a minute. <clears throat> yeah, right, Preet. Minita and Aditya, how are you guys? You doing great? Hello, Shubhangi. Well, so we have got the idea of this. Should I go on to the next slide? Well done, Preeti. Nice to know that, Vinita. So I'm going to the next slide. Those who have joined late might be finding some difficulty. But then, yeah, I'll, I'll explain it again in the next slide. Thanks, sir. I'm having this ginger ginger ale. Well, going to the next slide. Now I'm talking about the shortcut. Those who have joined late, please pay attention. This is very, very, very important. It won't be repeated again, possibly. So uh, I'm, I'm, you know, the shortcut is there. V1 is variable one, C1 is constant one. 
V and C respectively represent variable and constant. One, two, three are the different cases. X plus two, X plus three, X plus four was the example in the last slide. Those who have missed it. So look at the shortcut. You'll be able to find the reasoning behind that. Hello, Yash. So the shortcut says that if we have three, three linear expressions in the form, there's one variable plus a constant. For example, X plus two, X plus three, and X plus four. So we need to multiply them. We'll multiply them by the simple simple logic that we have just stated and this is where I have written it when you download the PDF please go through it and practice it on your own so we'll choose three variables and zero constants and I repeat I repeat again multiplication means and and addition means or always keep that in mind in mathematics in logical mathematics or uh, uh, in the in the logical algebra boolean algebra multiplication is and and addition is or so we choose three variables and zero constants that means we choose x from all the brackets x cube no constant all, or that means plus then two variables and one constant each two plus three plus four is nine and two variables are x squared or again plus one variable that is only x and two constants so combination of two constants out of three that will give us three combinations two multiplied by three two multiplied by four and three multiplied by four or no variables at all and all the three constants so variables won't be there the constants will be two multiplied by three multiplied by four and we get the answer so uh, i hope this shortcut is understood by everyone Okay, and do you think that it will save a lot of time? Yeah, Shubham, I'll, okay. I'll repeat it, you know, in just, you know, in a quick way, because a lot of people are already waiting. See, if you look at the, this slide, this slide, you do one thing, Shubham, <clears throat> after the session is over, just download the PDF, hear the recording. I'm sure you'll be able to get that. <clears throat> yes, sir, a bit difficult. So here comes question number one. Whatever you guys have learned, just apply the knowledge and tell me the answer. I'm starting a poll here. <clears throat> I'm giving you 30 seconds. Try to solve, then I'll start the poll. Shubham, you also do that, please. I haven't started the poll, so I give you 30 seconds. Now I'm starting the poll. Please try to solve everyone.
Sneha, you're not answering today. Sneha, please be quick. <clears throat> I'm expecting correct answers from you. Predit, Ashu. Only four people got that right. Hello, Vandana. Vandana, how are you? Yeah, Mehul. The answer is A. So here I have I have given four expressions, not just two, not just three. Well. Yeah, pretty right. Shubham, Shubham, pay attention. I'll explain this question and you'll be able to understand the logic. Okay, Shubham. Okay. <clears throat> so let's try and explain. See, we have four linear expressions. The first thing is to select one variable each from all the four brackets and no constant at all because there are four brackets so we would have only four objects in place so the first thing is to select the variables if i choose x from all the brackets what do i get i get x to the power four clear now x to the power four is there in all the options b cannot be the correct option because in b it is two the coefficient is two so nowhere, nowhere in the brackets, we have two. It's all, it's all one time x. Okay. So we get x to the power four. So possibly A, C, and D can be the answers. Now coming to the next step. <clears throat> Hello, comedy. In the in the first in the first step, we chose one variable each from all the brackets. That's where we got x to the power four. Now coming to the next step in the next step we got to select three variables from three brackets each and one constant from the remaining bracket in a way we can select one constant each from all the brackets and then make it the coefficient of x cube i hope that is clear so i will select i'll select one constant each one plus two plus three plus four that makes it ten that makes it 10 right right and x cube so a and d are the possible options now c is no more there i hope that is clear shubham and those who haven't got it right please please uh, you know please look at it once again and try to understand what i'm trying to say so <clears throat> Now comes the third step. In the third step, we got to select two variables from two brackets and two constants from the remaining brackets. If we select two variables, we'll get x squared in all the cases. There'll be x squared in all the cases. Hi, Vandana. But in the remaining two brackets, if I select two constants, I'll just multiply them. That means out of four constants, I have to multiply any two. And that I can do in six different ways. I hope that is clear to everyone. Out of four objects, if I got to select two objects, that can be done in six different ways. I haven't taught P and C, but those people who have the fundamental knowledge of combinations, they understand that 4C2 is equal to 6. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4. <clears throat> they are the constants in the brackets. For getting for 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 calculating the third term where we have to select any two constants and two variables, x squared is of course there. Now I want to select two constants. As I said, it can be in six different ways. Let's find out those six different ways. The first way is to select one and two, then one and three, and then one and four. Right? One and two, one and three. 1 and 4. 1 and 2 makes 2. 1 and 3 makes 3. 1 and 4 makes 4. So 2, 3, 4 is with us. 
uh, Sneha and Prerith. Are you guys there? Good, Prerith. I'm not getting any response from Sneha. Okay. Then, the next way of selecting it. Now, I have selected one and then two, three, four. There are three different ways to select any, any of the constants if I selected one. One has been exhausted. Now comes the opportunity where we will be selecting two. Now, two has already been selected with one. Now, two will be selected with three only. Two into three is six. And two fours are eight. So that becomes six and eight. Right? Two is exhausted. Now comes three and four. That makes it 12. Now let us count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So there are six different ways of selecting. We need to add everything. Two plus three plus four plus six plus eight plus 12. So how much will it be? 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 6, 15 plus 8, 23 plus 12 is 35. So we get 35 over here. D cannot be the option because in D, it's written 36. <clears throat> yes, sir, I am, I am in review is postponed. Not I am A. I am A interview has been already done. It's already been done in the uh, first, uh, last week of February. I am in Dor has been postponed. That was in the first week of April. I mean, don't know the dates yet. Same with FMS Delhi. <clears throat> all other I am interviews have been all, have already been done. So Thirty-five. I hope. I hope everyone got that. Did you? Great. We have already got the answer. Thanks, sir. We have already got the answer. But in case we don't have the options, now how to calculate the 50 and 24? It's 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 same in uh, A and D. That's another, another thing. But then if we have to actually calculate this part, in this part, we'll have to select three constants and one variable each. One variable each means x. And selecting three constants out of four, that will be in four different ways. I'll just count it out. Please pay attention carefully. If I want to select three constants from three brackets, it can be done in four different ways. The first way is selecting one, two, and three, then one, two, and four, and rest, you guys have to tell me. Tell me, everyone in the comment section, how would you select three constants from the, the these four brackets? Please, please try to write the comment, everyone. Nice comedy. Shubham says two, three, four. Yeah. Shubham, I would suggest that start with one. Keep one fixed and then ignore one, two, three, four, one at a time. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a brilliant way to look at it, Gurjit. Nice, nice. Well done. Comedy is first class. Welcome, comedy. I hope, I hope you're getting it. As Gurjeet said, you can uh, ignore one, two, three, four, one at a time. That's that's perfectly fine. So uh, it should be okay, Shubham. Uh, yeah, Shubham. If you if you select one, two, three, there's one other. Uh, there's one, one more one more improvisation to what you said. We can ignore one, two, three, four at a time. Per perfect. But uh, this this. Uh, technique would actually help students in the algebra classes and the PNC classes. So that is a shortcut, of course, which you said, but then students need to understand, you know, uh, they, they need to understand that how the selection is being done. Because I am I am focusing, I'm emphasizing on the concept where I have to keep certain variables fixed and the other should be variable. Uh, right? So if I if I fix one, then how many ways can I can I reshuffle the other constants? That is what we need to learn because that won't be 
much confusing in the later classes. This is the very first class of fundamentals. Uh, that is why. So yeah, Komadi, you are from bio and uh, you want to attempt CAT. Very good Komadi. That will be a great thing actually. The IMs nowadays, they are looking at diversity. There are a lot of students I know who are from um, non-engineering background and they are making it to IMs every year. So it's an opportunity, Komadi. Surangana, hi, how are you? Mohit, hello. Okay, so uh, Gokul, that's your first class too. Welcome to the first class. How are you feeling? You feeling great? Welcome, Komadi. Great, great, great. Okay, so I'm I'm repeating. I'm repeating. Gujit, this is first class. Okay. You are you are you are quite brilliant, man. I must say that. Okay. Now coming to what I was trying to say. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let us keep one fixed. One fixed. Now the first selection will be. The first selection will be one, two, three. Thanks, thanks, sir. Thanks, Rakesh, sir. One, two, three. The other will be one, two, and four. So <clears throat> I have fixed one and then shuffle two and three. Now I will try to keep as much simplicity as possible. So I'll keep one, of course. I'll try to keep two as well. And that can be done by keeping one, two, and four. Is that correct? I still want to fix one, but I cannot fix two now. So I'll have to go to three. And now it will be one, three, and four. Is that right? Now one has been exhausted. In no other way can one be one be used again. Hello, Nathan. You are a bit late. Please try to understand from the concept from the comment section and from the question and from the slide that is there. Well, <clears throat> so one is exhausted now. There is one more way left, and that way will start two, then three. And then it will be four. Hello, Meghna. Nitin, this is the shortcut techniques. This the, These shortcuts would be helpful in the entire CAT. It's not algebra. It is basically it is basically shortcut techniques. Here I am trying to uh, tell people that how you need to multiply algebraic expressions without using pen and paper just in mind. So people who are taking more than 20 seconds for, uh, cal for, for uh, multiplying three, three expressions, now they are taking less than 10 seconds if there are four expressions they might have taken one minute but now they're taking less than 20 seconds so that is how it is Nathan, please pay attention in the next the next slide would be on a different shortcut this shortcut after the session is over you can download the pdf watch the recording you'll get it uh gokul you're doing bcom first year gokul when you're in first year you won't be able to write cat you are you are in first year right so you will be in second year from the month of May or June. This year won't be able to write CAT, but this year is the apt, apt time. This is the best time to actually start preparing for CAT. CAT is a difficult exam, but then, but then of course, if you have one and a half years, it would be a cakewalk for you. And one thing I want to tell that CAT getting a selection in IIM is not just uh, uh, the written part. The written part is only 40% responsible for the final selection. The rest 40% is personal interview and writing ability test. IIMs do not consider group discussions at all. They have stopped it doing from last three years. Now it is only writing ability test and, and personal interview. So writing ability is something which you need to prepare. And one and a half years is a great time for doing that. Well. <clears throat> So, uh, Nathan, Nathan Panasia, the next slide would be on a different, different shortcut. The rest you can watch in the recording. Hello, Mansi, how are you? Final year, final year can appear, final year can appear, yeah. Okay, Meghna and Mansi. Good morning. 
the next the next the next uh, session would be the next uh, slide would be the new shortcut technique okay so hi, i hope it is clear to everyone Oh, Gokul, I am, uh, yeah. Yeah, is that okay? That's okay. I, I don't, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't read the first thing. Then I understood that it's final year. In final year, that will be okay. That perfect. But you need to prepare actually, you know, really hard. In case you have any specific doubts, I would, I would uh, share a WhatsApp link that we have created over here for the Unacademy students. Any specific doubts can be directly focused towards me. I will answer that there. Like how to get into IMs, how to what are the strategy preparations and everything. Gokul, oh, I, I'm so sorry, Priyadarshini. I thought Gokul is your uh, first name. It's Priyadarshini. I'm sorry, Priyadarshini. Uh, the final year is the app time, and any 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 doubt you have, you can just directly ask me. Okay, Mansi is pursuing bba that will be great after bba mba is the obvious choice and that's a good thing okay uh sonnet 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 i i actually love your name i am i am heavily inclined towards literature and sonnet as you might be aware of it's a 14 14 verses poem and shakespeare shakespeare was an expert in that <laughs> nice name sonnet Profile building, profile building is necessary for freshers. See, uh, whatever you do while your graduation is not quantifiable in the final selection, but yes, preference can be given. Oh, sorry, now I remember. Oh, okay, you were my student at Time CP. How are you? Welcome, welcome back. People should go for work X, but that's not actually necessary because a lot of freshers are also going into IMs and other colleges. Okay, we do, we'll do one thing. We'll do one thing. <clears throat> Gurjeet, Sonnet, Priyadarshini, whoever has any kind of such doubts, I will, I will have a session in which I'll be telling you how to approach all the colleges, how to approach CAT, strategy building, college selection, and everything. Okay, I'll tell everything, each and everything. You want to get admitted? I am Bangalore. That's that's a nice choice, Mansi. So we will have a proper session on strategy, college information, profile building, everything. Don't worry about that. Okay, I'll share the WhatsApp link as I said. <clears throat> let's let's complete the session. The session is supposed to be uh, it is it is supposed to be for the shortcuts. So let's do that. Okay. Okay. Whatever doubts you have regarding anything, regarding anything about MBA, be it quantitative aptitude, LRDI, that is the written part of it. Even if you have doubts for GD, PI, WAD, college selection, profile building, work experience, any anything you can ask me, but uh, in some other session. And I'll, say, I'll, I'll send the WhatsApp link as well. So going on to the next, next slide, <clears throat> as people are waiting for it. So everyone is ready for that? Is everyone ready for that? Okay, uh, I think Ashutosh has the WhatsApp link. If it's there, please, please, please share the link if you have it. Yeah, please share the link, Vashu. Whoever was in my last session might be having the link. Ashu was there, Sneha was there, Perit was there. So you can send it over here. Pranav. Hello Pranav, you joined late but at the right time. Because we are going to the next shortcut technique. Predith has, Predith has uh, shared the link. Please join over there. Well, going to the next slide. Shortcut 3. Shortcut three is finding the squares. 
finding the squares. Now, CAT won't directly ask you questions about how to find the squares. Of course, it won't. Some other exams like in MAT or SNAP or MAT, MAT probably can ask direct questions on that. But indirectly, this would be very much helpful. And there's a reason for that. Just a minute. OK. So knowing the squares, there's a reason for that in CAD as well. Because when we go to the higher algebra, where we start solving the second order equations, we will look at the second order functions in the, and try to find the range of the functions. In that case, if you know the technique of calculating the squares, of course, in retrospect, you will be able to understand the technique of calculating the square roots. And that is how you can actually find the range of a quadratic function. We'll discuss that when we'll when I'll be having a session on algebra, an advanced session there, I'll discuss that how this this third shortcut would be beneficial and helpful. It is of a great utility, of course. Why for you? <laughs> Hello, why for you? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> well, so let's start. Let's start understanding that. The prerequisite, the prerequisite to uh, understand this shortcut is knowing all these squares from 1 to 25. 1 to 25. I hope everyone knows that. How many of you, how many of you can recall these squares from 1 to 25? Please tell me in the comment section. Hello. Everyone knows that? Very good. Very good. Very good. Hello, hello, Prapreet Singh. Prapreet, can you recall the squares from 1 to 25? Well, tell me quickly. Quickly. The square of 19. Square of 19. The square of 19 is 361. Perfect. 23 square. 23 square, 18 square, 17 square, 17 square, very good, Priyadarshini, um, on the on the group i'll i'll send the entire list of these squares okay you can download it print it paste it on a wall in your study room and look at it every day every morning every night every evening you keep on looking at that for a week and you'll be able to you know wrote learn it very good by the way Pridashni, um biology was one of my favorite subjects and uh, this would sound a bit weird to you, but I'll tell you that all of my mathematics is dependent on biology. I have been observing patterns in the biological life forms, be it animals, be it uh, plants. And through the plants, I have come to know that a lot of patterns are being followed. In algebra, we'll be talking about sequences and series. And in that, I'll be telling you that how, how mathematicians took inspiration from biology to understand the patterns and everything. Okay, Pradeshini. Yeah, and uh, this is interesting for everyone. Ha, ha, uh, do you, all of you, know about Fibonacci sequence? Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence is directly derived from biology. It is derived from the way plants are growing and uh, also the way insects reproduce. We'll talk about that in sequence and series classes. I'll have a session for that as well within 
now let's try to find the squares ip mat of course prapreet this would help you this would help you but you we joined really late ip mat ha ip mat has the same syllabus as cat so in the initial classes i'm doing the basics not the advanced versions uh, the advanced versions would be only for cat specifically for cat and zat but all the other classes are for all the management entrance exams your position is has to be remembered well well coming to next slide now <clears throat> we are at a point when everyone understands everyone knows the squares from 125 let's let's come to the next next slide this is base 50 see the squares from 1 to 25 have to be remembered now we are talking about base 50 the square of 50 as everyone knows is 2500 is that correct that's that's correct right the best thing about this technique is that we don't have to calculate we can just observe the pattern get the answer now observe the pattern everyone 49 square 50 square 51 square here we have 2401 2500 2601 now what is the pattern over here you know one thing to analyze the pattern just ignore the last two digits for a while and look at the first two digits 24 25 26 it's in an arithmetic progression is that so right 24 25 26 that means if someone asks me the square of 48 i am sure about one thing that it should start with 23 right right perfect 23 okay now if someone asks me the square of 52 now prijashni will tell me prijashni tell me what will be the first two digits Pridarshini, the square of fifty-two. What will be the first two digits? Twenty-seven, of course. That's correct. Now we need to analyze how to find the last two digits. <clears throat> See, here it is zero zero. This zero one. This zero one. Uh, something is happening in the background both these numbers have the last two digits as same both are zero one hello sonali das how are you prakash hi so the last two digits of 49 square and 51 square are same right they are same both are zero one and and prakash you joined really late man and to help you all if i write the last two digits of 48 square and 52 square again you will find that they are same it's all right prakash again you'll find that it is same isn't it hello arushi <clears throat> i'm repeating if we ignore the last two digits of all these squares we understand that the numbers are in arithmetic progression they are succeeding numbers okay and the last two digits yeah i'm coming to that pranav and the last two digits as i can see they are same in 49 and 51 square as well as 52 and 48 square now how to get those last two digits once we are done with that the trick is over so let's see what is 51 when compared to 50 as i said the base is 50 51 is nothing but 50 plus 1 is that correct is that correct and 49 is 50 minus 1 is that correct right similarly similarly 52 is 50 plus 2 
and 48 is 50 minus 2. Is that right? Is that right? So last two digits are nothing but the squares of the excesses or the deficits of the numbers from 50. Is that understood? Hello, Abhi. Pradarshini, I'm repeating. See, the last two digits are nothing but the squares of the excesses, like in 51, the excess is plus 1. In 52, the excess is plus 2. Right, Pradarshini? In 49, the deficit is of minus 1. In 48, the deficit is of minus 2. So, what is happening over here? We are calculating the square of the excesses or the deficits and we are placing it over here. So, the square of 1, the square of 1 is 1. The square of 1 is 1. But we require two digits over here. Two digits. And one is a single digit. So, to make it two digits, I'll just put a zero before that. Is that understood, everyone? Is that understood, everyone? Similarly, similarly, square of minus 1 is also plus 1. The square of negative is positive. It becomes 0, 1 again. Similarly, the square of plus 2 and the square of minus 2 is 4. To make it two digits, I'll put a 0 and it becomes 0, 4. I hope this, this solves the purpose. Hello, Babita. How are you? Prapreet says it means that the square of 53 would be 2809. Yeah, perfect, Prapreet. Very good. Very good, Prapreet. Well, then, that is that is some, some insight. Great. Now, I will, I will choose random numbers. What Prapreet said has been understood by everyone. 53 square is 2809. Now, coming to 54 square. Tell me everyone, what should be the answer of 54 square? 2916. Perfect, Gurjeet. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now tell me what will be the square of 41? The square of 41. Oh, Sneha is back. Uh, what is square of 41? Very good. Very good, Ridhima. Ridhima, you sure this is correct? Predith, 1681 should be the correct answer. Now, all of you, please keep in mind, this is a mistake. This is a common mistake which everyone makes. We are not squaring the last digit of the number. No, we are squaring the deficit or the excess of the number from the base 50. So 41, 41 is 9 less than 50. So the last two digits must be 81. They should not be 0, 1. This is clear to everyone. Rizima, it's all right. It's clear to everyone. Now, what I what if what if I what if I choose a number uh, that is 61? Priyadarshini, to be very honest, this pattern extends beyond infinity. But I would say till infinity. 61 square. Now, 61, what is 61? 61 is 50 plus 11, right? It is 50 plus 11. So I'll add 11 to 25, that becomes 36. And the square of 11 is 121. Only two digits are allowed, so 21 would be retained and 1 would be carried forward to 36. Is that clear? So the answer is 3721. Well done, Komodi. Well done, Deepika. Well done, Meghana. The answer is 3721. I hope this is clear to everyone. Well, <clears throat> now going to what I said 10 minutes ago. I said that we need to remember the squares from 1 to 25. Now, what does that mean? That means that if that if I consider base to be 50, then I can I can move 25 steps backward and 25 steps forward. 
is that understood? 25 steps backward and 25 steps forward. That means that I'll be covering all these squares from 25 to 75 with the help of base 50. Right? Right? Yeah. Very good. I hope this answers your question, Priyadarshini. There are some people who try to remember squares till 50, till 30. I don't know why. That is not required at all. Once you understand this technique, till 25 would be more than sufficient. It would be all. Nothing less, nothing more. <clears throat> Through base 50, I am shifting towards 25 to 25. 61, yeah, yeah, Pradeshini, I can, I can repeat. See, 61 is 50 plus 11. Agreed? At every step, when I say agreed, just give me thumbs up. 50 plus 11 is 61. Perfect. The square of 11 is 121. Right? Okay. Now, as we can see that as far as we move from 50, the first two digits of the square are moving one step, one step forward. So if I move from 50 to 61, I have moved 11 steps forward. That means I'll add 25 and 11 and I'll get 36 as the first two digits. Agreed? Okay. Now I have 36 as the first two digits and 121 in the last two digits. But the last two digits allow only last two digits. So 21 would be retained and any extra would be carried forward to 36. Agreed, Priyashni? Understood, Priyashni? Give me thumbs up if you did it. Okay. Nice. Well. Now moving on to next slide. Anyone try to answer? Find the square. I need correct answers from everyone. Well done, Priyadarshini. Try to mark the answer in the poll. Everyone, please. Everyone got it right. Well then. Well, Rithima is at the top position. She did it in 2.6 seconds. Ashu did it in 1.4 seconds. Uh, that was easy because we can just discuss it. Well, the next one. Do not type the answer in the comment section, comedy, just mark it there. Someone got that wrong. Someone marked another option. 8609, who was that? The same mistake which Ridhima committed in the practice. Ninety-three is hundred minus seven. So the last two digit should be forty-nine, not zero nine. Okay. 
gone up to this level we have gone on to 75 only so coming to the next and uh, last slide well before doing this question let me explain you the other other basis <clears throat> okay so we did for base 50 now we'll do it for base 100 tell me everybody what is 100 square what is 100 square it's 10000 yeah prakash let us ignore the last two digits for a while pay attention as we did it for it for base 50 doing the same for base 100 the square of 101 is 102 Zero 01. The square of 99 is 9801. Try to find the pattern. The square of 102 is 10. Four zero four. Great, great, Gurjit. The square of ninety eight is nine six zero four. Yeah, Pritrashni, if you look at this, it will be self explanatory. <clears throat> well, so these five numbers in succession now I consider base six, base hundred. As you can see. The last two digits are again same as they were in the case of 49 and 51. That's 01. Why 01 is there? Because of the deficits and excesses. 99 is one less than 100. 101 is one more than 100. So in both the cases, I have squared one and put a zero for that, becomes 01. 98 and 102 is minus two and plus two. Square of it is plus plus four. That becomes 04. That is understood to everyone. Now coming to the first three digits, how are they being formed? 100 then becomes 102, 104 going backwards, 98 and 96. So here we can see that the shift is of two places. Is that correct? In the case of 50, the shift was of just one place. In case of 100, the shift is of two places. Right? Is that right? Well, so <clears throat> now how to understand the shift is of two places? Because base 100 is two times base 50 so base 50 was the first base and base is two times so if the base is two two times we just need to multiply the differences by two and that is how we can get any answer which further means that if the base is 150 150 we'll be multiplying it by three is that clear Tell me everyone, if the base is 350, then with what, with, with what number we have to multiply? If the base is 350. 7, perfect, because 350 is 7 times 50. That's, that's, that's perfectly correct. That's perfectly correct. Now, uh, some students do not get how to find the square of 93. I'll just explain it over here. Please pay attention, everyone. Pridrashini, this is very important. 93 square. <clears throat> 93 is 7 less than 100. 7 less than 100. That means have to go seven steps two times. 7 steps backward, 2 times. That means I have to go 14 steps, 14 steps backward. Now, 100 minus 14 is 86. Is that fine? 100 minus 14 is 86. And as 93 is 7 less than 100, the square of 7 is 49. So that is how we got the answer as 86, 49. Is that clear, everyone? Well, well. 
So whatever the base is, we'll just multiply and get the answers. Very good. The last question. Let's see how many of you do it. This is the question. The base is 150 in this case. Everybody got it right. Great. Uh, two people got it wrong. Two people got it wrong. Well done, Ridhima and Predit. You do got all the answers correct. Very good. Well, now to just verify that you all of you got it right, I'll keep on giving you different numbers and everyone has to find the square and tell me right now in the comment section. The square of, ready everyone? That will be a rapid, rapid, rapid fire round. The rapid fire begins here. Square of 152. Come on. For the beginners, Zero here. Here we have two zeros. So this is where we have to identify the answer. And 150 is three times 50. So if I move to 152, 152 is two more than 150. So I have to move two steps forward three times. That makes six. 225 plus six is 231, and two square is zero four. That's that's perfectly fine. Everyone got the correct. Uh, uh, okay, Gurjit, Gurjit, no problem, no worries. Now the next, next one. Well done, Mehul. Very good, very good. Next question. Well done, comedy. Very good. Very good. Well done, Mehul. Perfect. Or difficult one now.
Hey, tell me how many of you are using calculators? How many of you are using calculators? Are you? <laughs> you guys have become faster than my expectations. Okay. Okay, I'd I'd, I'd like to believe that. Um, if it is true, then I'm really proud of you guys. So everyone is doing it mentally. No, no pen paper. How many of you are using pen and paper? Ridhima, don't use pen and paper. Try to try to me. Prakash, yaad hai? Kahan tak? Hundred tak yaad hai? Okay. Bhool jao. Pachis tak yaad rakho bas. Saat tak yaad karne ko fayda nahi hai. Deepika, acha chalo. Agla next 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 next. Let's let's have a number of the number of God. God's number. Okay, Prakash. Seven eight six. Well done, Ashu. Well done. Eight hundred minus fourteen. Eight hundred is sixteen times fifty. Sixteen into fourteen is how much? How much? Two to four and square of fourteen is one ninety six. Six one seven six. And 196. There's a first class that is why using pen and paper. No worries, Pritha Rashni. No worries. It's it's all right. It's all right. The comment about 125. Outsmarting approach. Uh, welcome, welcome, Gurjit. Pridrashni, you would be confident in, in our week. After the session is over, please, uh, uh, Pridrashni, in your case you want to repeat, you know, download the PDF, look at the recording, anyone who has got some problem, and then as the WhatsApp link is there, tell me your doubts, uh, discuss in detail, and every day start practicing 10 to 20 questions at random. You know, you are going anywhere. Nowadays, we're in lockdown. So lockdown, lockdown is for the country, for the politics, for the economics. Let's not lock down our brains. Okay. So brains should be opened up. And there is a time in which we can actually grow ourselves because we don't go, go out. We can actually concentrate at these studies and sometimes we can have fun also. So don't waste much of your time on Netflix. I know a lot of people are doing that. I took the subscription, subscription of Netflix, but I'm not using it because, you know, I don't have time for that. So don't, don't waste your time in that. <coughs> Take some examples. The WhatsApp group is there. Your friends are there. Uh, your family is there. Younger or uh, older sibling, parents. Just tell them that give them give give me some numbers and you will try to calculate that. Uh, give them the calculator. So that is what I I do. When I was you know I was like 10, 11 years old. I gave the calculator to my mom. I told her give me numbers. You find the squares on the calculator. I'll do it in my mind. So that is how that is how uh, you know I kind of grew.
the link has been uh, i believe the link has been sent no the link has been sent no well uh, wait i think i think ridhima ridhima has the ridhima has the link hello vivek so everybody note down your homework your homework is to practice 20 to 30 questions of squares every day for next one week that is your homework well did you get the link unable to use the link ridhima please provide the link I have pinned that so in case nobody will be nobody can lose it so everyone got the link Well, uh, so in case you have any doubts, anything as I repeated, post it on the comment section when I'm there on the group. I'll, I won't be always available on the group, but there are a lot of students over there, so they can help each other. They can coordinate and cooperate. And please, one thing more, there should be no spamming in the group. That is the first condition, you know, and uh, moreover, uh, unless, unless uh, mutually agreed, nobody should be directly messaging others you know that 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 might uh, look weird so that is something which we should you know refrain from doing and uh, it was a nice session everyone was so cooperative you you are nice 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 audience thanks a lot for being here have a good day at 3 at 3 today i am live again for data interpretation basics di basics i'll be taking it at 3 and in the evening at 7, I'll be taking time, speed, and distance. So those who are plus subscribers can uh, join the class at 3 and at 7. Data interpretation and time, speed, and distance, it will actually be helpful for those who have just started. For them, it is very much helpful. Even for the people who are on the later stages of preparation, it's helpful for them as, them as well. So you can go to my link, go to my profile, follow me up there, and then you will find, you will, you will get the notifications. 30 minutes before the class is live. So let's let's meet at 3 and 7. Till then, everybody, goodbye. Have a nice day. Happy learning. Bye-bye, everyone.